Hi everyone and welcome to our further food for thought. Um, we're thinking this week, we're following on from the talk that I did on Sunday around fruitful living, and um, particularly considering um, how if we are abiding in Christ and really have caught his heart and know him, then there will be something that rises up within us, the fruit of justice as it were, and desire to, um, to give ourselves to pursuing justice on behalf of others. And particularly for those that um, can't uh, do that for themselves, particularly for those who maybe don't have a voice, particularly for those that are most in need, the lonely, um, and uh, those in, in particular need. And so I want to encourage you in your life groups to do um, a few specific things. The first thing is to just take some time to reflect back. Uh, one of the things I talked about was how when we really encounter Christ, and experience his love and forgiveness for ourselves, how that makes us want to share that and outwork that for others as well. And I used Zacchaeus as an example in that encounter with Jesus and how that changed everything. And I wonder if you might like to start by, as a group, just sharing together how you encountered Jesus, maybe for the first time or maybe at a particular time where you caught his heart in some fresh way. And maybe if there were particular ways that it, he so it helps you to catch a heart for others through that. And so just to have a little bit of time, of when have you felt like God has revealed his heart to you? Not just for your sake, but for others' sake. And, um, and then having done that, I want to encourage you to read Isaiah chapter 58 and verses 1 to 10. And to read through those verses. And as you read through these verses, to ask these questions. First of all, what was the context? What was the context that Isaiah was prophesying into at that time? And what was specifically being addressed um, for the people of Israel at that time? So, you know, I mean, it's really what it says, but just to, to speak that out and make it clear, here are the specific things that are being addressed. And then to have some time as a group to talk about, and what does, might this mean for us today? All right, our context is a bit different. And yet so much is the same and probably similar things are wanting to be addressed. And so what would God be wanting to say to us? How would he be wanting to speak to us? What similar message might be coming through and what does that mean for us today? And, um, and then um, just at the end of, of verse 9 and verse 10, it says this. As I says, if you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry, and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. And we've often talked about, as a church family, feeling like God's called us to be a bit like a chandelier, lots of different expressions of his light where he's placed us to be. And, um, you know, he wants to cause our light to rise in the darkness. And, and that involves action on our part. And so I wonder if you just might like to take some time to think in what specific ways might you spend yourself on behalf of the hungry in the broadest sense and satisfy the needs of the oppressed? Um, in what may, ways might you be able to do that today? Maybe as an individual or even as a group. And then I want to encourage you to pray out of that. And having talked about that, just to pray into that and to invite the Holy Spirit to lay a particular cause or need um, on your heart. Actually, as you pray, invite him to give you his heart afresh and to lay a specific need or cause on your heart. And you might find that each, as individuals you get different things or something similar comes to a whole number of you and you begin to sense that, oh, maybe we should be doing this together. I trust that we will catch the heart of God afresh and be led by his spirit, and in turn his light will shine through us. God bless.